Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Let's go over the pocket pages that I have assigned for today. If you've already done some of these pages, please check your work. So language arts page 183, it says circle words in the box that have a long O sound. Write a word from the box to tell about each picture. Okay, so long O means that it makes the O, O sound. So our words are book, coat, show, toe, top, and go. So number one, it has a picture of a show, so you're going to circle that and write show on the line. And then do the rest. Let's see, um, I think that one would be go, and then coat and toe. So find those words and write them on the lines. Now this page was a little tricky. So check your work on it. It says an open syllable is a syllable that ends in a vowel. Okay, remember vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. It has a long vowel sound. So a long vowel sound means it says its name. So A, E, I, O, U, that's what those sounds would sound like. So begin, B is your open syllable because it's it ends with a long vowel sound. Basic. Bay is your open syllable because it ends with a long vowel sound. Let's try these ones. It says, read the word, draw a line between the syllables. Write the syllable that ends in a long vowel sound. Okay, apron. So I think A would be the long vowel sound. Bacon. B-A would be your open syllable. So look for the syllable that ends with that long vowel sound. And remember, syllables are word parts. So you can clap to figure it out. Apron, bacon, robot, open. All right, do the next two on your own. For handwriting practice, you're going to practice your capital K and lowercase k, you guys should know how to do these pages by now. Don't forget to follow the arrows, don't forget to trace the letters and write them yourself, and don't forget to start on the dot. For math, you should have done the top part yourself. Now today you're doing 16 and 17. It says there are nine red crayons, three green crayons, and seven blue crayons in the box. How many crayons are in the box? Okay, don't forget to circle the numbers, underline the question, Sorry, it's hard for me to hold my phone and write at the same time. And box keywords, let's see. Many is a good keyword. All right, this looks like a triple math mountain. So total goes at the top, and then you're gonna add up the three numbers. We have nine, three, and seven. Ooh, I see two numbers that make 10. Three plus seven equals 10, plus nine more. You guys can do that easily in your head. And then circle the correct answer right here. Number 17 says there are 14 birds in a tree. Some birds fly away. Now there are six birds. How many birds fly away? Okay, don't forget, circle the numbers. Underline the question. Box keywords, sum is a good keyword. Away is a great keyword for subtraction. All right, let's do our math mountain. So when we have subtraction, we put the big number up top, the smaller number at the bottom, and you're gonna do 14 minus six to find your answer. And circle your answer right here. For science, I want you to reread this lesson, lesson four, how do living things get food in a desert? You know that a desert is an environment. There are food chains in a desert. Desert plants use energy from sunlight to make food. Some insects eat the plants for food. This shrub grows in the desert. Crunch, the insect eats the leaves of the desert shrub. The lizard sees the insect. The hungry lizard eats the insect for food. Zap, the lizard will catch the insect. Food for desert animals. The roadrunner sees the lizard. The roadrunner eats the lizard for food. The coyote sees the roadrunner. The coyote eats the roadrunner for food. And there's our food chain. Gulp, the roadrunner will eat the lizard. Pounce, the coyote will catch the roadrunner. All right, so it all started with the shrub. 
And then the insect ate the shrub, the lizard ate the insect, the roadrunner ate the lizard, and last, the coyote ate the roadrunner. All right, and on this page it says, how do living things get food in a desert? Read the lesson. Use the words in the box to complete the sentences. A desert is an environment and then once you've written the answer make sure you circle it desert plants use blank to make food okay pick which one goes in the blank and you guys can do the rest on your own that's all I have for packet pages today don't forget to read and you study your sight words and also do your 20 minutes of PE I will see you guys tomorrow for our zoom meeting at 1 all right work hard and be nice